Welcome back. Today we're out trying to set up the farm so we can get on the half rack this year. Right now I'm down. The plot I'm putting in this year actually where the tractor is parked right there. Basically everywhere from where those sunflowers aren't mowed right there. I seeded clover earlier but it didn't come up the best. Got a lot of weeds and that in it. So from where I'm standing now down to this corn line the whole way down it's about an acre. I kind of left some trails through it so there's of natural stuff but when i mowed it i'm just gonna go where i mowed the goal is put in some brassicas turnips that stuff down here so i'm gonna get this tilled up down here goal for this plot left a few little spots like this then you can see down there i kind of just mowed random spots that goes way down below where that grass is down the bottom there we're going to put in a platform in this video too get a ground blind or something to set up on there because it's got to be able to go under the pivot but i want as much height as possible because i want a side slope so we're going to put in a platform so i can get up on top of it and not have to build to just the top of a blind or something like that but i'm going to get to tilling this up quick and we're going to get it seated in this video today i got another plot i'd like to do well two other plots i'd like to do but one of them i know i sure can't get the tractor to the other one's a maybe there's a pond that's flooded up high but we're going to start with this one roll some cliffs on this and i'll catch back up to you. Got the plot seated. I'm down here, this is the corner where I'm ready to put a blind. You'll see it coming soon. Right behind that grass, where it's mowed right back there. I'm gonna put a little platform because we got a pivot right there that goes over this plot and through the cornfield down here. But if I put a platform up, get about eight foot tall, and go off that, it should be good. So. That'll give me enough height that I'll be up about eye level with, with where I am, which is 20, 25 yards. And I just want enough height to be able to see all the way up to the tractor there. It's straight up the hill, but it should work right down here. So there's a deer. Saw him twice last year. Call him half rack. It's pretty evident he's got half a rack. But right over the hill, right there, you see them trees? I found a shed on... Well, he broke his rack off. I found that on this side of the trees after I found his shed on the other side of the trees. Hopefully, haven't had a picture of him yet. He showed up middle season last year. I think that's kind of his rut area. If he shows back up, this plot should be real good for him. And then the other one that we're going to do, there's two other ones. Both of those are in his line, too, that he takes a lot of times and where a lot of other deer have taken. But we saw him twice in the other one every time he was coming from the same patch of trees where I found his shed. So... This one right here is only 80 yards from that tree line and it it should get the job done if he shows back up. Well, it is still the same day. Just got done putting in the plot over there. I gotta trim out a trail here on the other side of the property. Come down right here and down this cow trail. You can see it's just a little thick there, kind of up high to walk. I'm gonna put a stand about halfway down this hill. So I'm gonna trim this out just enough to where I can get through. I don't wanna like make it a good deer trail because then they'll be walking into my stand directly. Don't want that. And I'll show you the plot that I'm working on down here in the bottom. Right, there's the trail I'm going to walk through. I haven't cleared out the bottom yet because I'm trying to decide. These trees up here are super thin. I don't think I can really sit in them. I feel like that one. I want to put it in the plot right here. I was saying just a little one. I mean, not even over to those trees right there. Just a little tiny micro plot. Leave this little tree growing up in the middle. Nice little thorn tree. I've seen them, I think right there, you can actually see they've used these as looking branches before. They had scrapes under them. Let's see if I can, right there. See how the ends are gnawed off? How I think these deer are gonna come in is from that direction, heading that way, or they're gonna come from that way, there. And they can kind of peel in here, hit a scrape, 
take off. I mean, if I put food basically to where I stand here, maybe to that little tree right there at the farthest, but I should have good access. I think this is gonna work good, so. I'm gonna finish getting this trail cleaned up and then I will catch up to you guys whenever I'm back down in here getting this planted. And maybe at that point I'll be able to give you a little update on the other plot and see how it's doing. All right, so a little change of plans here. We were just down that area over there, right around this bend. That's where I wanted to put in the plot. And then the other one where I've got going is about 150 yards that way and that one's 150 yards that way. But as I'm heading around, I look back here and normally like this is usually max water level for the pond where it's at now. And it was like way up there, which left just, just bare wet soil here that normally grows grass really good. So I'm thinking with nothing there right now, I can probably get away with just seeding right into this right now. It's gonna be nice and wet soil, should come up good. And it should, if I put, still put in the plot over there and where I want to, it'll really make this like area for them to follow that they already normally really like. So I think if I put in even more food, it could be really good this year. So I'm gonna actually seed this. Complete change of plans from what I was thinking. But I think it's gonna work out really good. It's got a nice tree in the middle. If I need to, I can tuck a stand up in one of these cedar trees even and hunt it sometime. Cause it wouldn't be hard to blow my scent up out of here. Really nothing walks this side of the pond. They stay to the far side here. So I'm gonna get to doing that. All right, we're just gonna use some cheap stuff. I got this stuff on sale for nine bucks. It's a couple years old. I think it's still gonna work fine. I don't see why it wouldn't. All right, little mixer's full. We're just gonna do some laps. I'm gonna stay more, I'm gonna stay more up to that side just in case, because there is rain in the forecast, but for the water to come up, it's gonna take a lot of rain. It's been dropping and we just had rain the other day, so I don't think it'll make a difference. Five minutes of time. I guess the worst thing could happen is it comes up so fast that the cows get into it, but it was nine dollars. See what happens, right? Like, yeah, it's a waste of nine dollars, but you know, I'd rather waste nine dollars than like fifty on it. So, so worse that worse that happens, it doesn't work. Oh well, we'll move on. But I guess we'll go down that other one, get that camera set in, and I need to find a way to get these other plots done. It is August thirteenth right now, and these plots need to be done sooner rather than later. So we'll have to figure something out there. Well, we just walked down into the bottom where I'm gonna put in the food plot right behind me. Sorry, I'm trying to be kind of quiet right now. Trail camera is on that tree right there that I have now. It's a crappy one, doesn't really work that well. Hopefully, it was working. And we're gonna go find out what deer I just spooked out of here because it was bedded right across right there, I think. This is the second time I've came into this area. The other time was over this hill to the other side of me when I had the camera up there and decided it was not a good spot because I didn't get any pictures. But I spooked a deer going back there. I moved it over here and I should have just got a picture of that deer as long as this camera works. So that'll answer if this camera works. It might not work and that might not be why I got pictures of the deer in the other spot because it honestly should have got pictures. I'm gonna hang this up. We're gonna put up the old cell cam and then find out what that was. Everything's flashing good. We should be good here. That should be everything here. I don't like where that deer was bedded. I was hoping they went bed right here. Where I thought they bedded was over this hill. And my plan was to be able to sneak into the tree right there every day and blow my scent up this bottom. Cause there's a house right behind those trees, like 60 yards away. And if that doesn't work, then I've got a problem. All right, I'm done here. I'm gonna run home and check this SD card and my other trail camera. I'm gonna switch out the ones on that so I can check it at home. Good thing I got the camera bag with me cause I got an extra SD card to be able to do that. But there's plenty to come in this video. I still gotta order the two stands to put in this spot that I'm in right now. And I'll probably put one where I put that other plot and have this whole walkway covered with stands and then I also still have to build the platform down in the other food plot for you guys so there's a lot still coming so we got a lot of work to do and it's getting close and clo closer and closer to season gonna have to pick up the pace here a bit welcome back since last time I picked up the camera I think I was putting in plots and I put in that one on the other side I'm just coming down to see if anything's been coming up in the plot here where we just put in the grass because boy I can see where I've mowed here the clover's starting to park poke through some of this stuff. It's doing a lot better once I mowed and starting to be able to grow before. Here's a good spot. It's 
coming up before everything's getting drawn out by all the grasses. All right, let's walk down here and see what we got going on. There's actually clover seed left in some of this. I must have had a little spill out right here because it's awfully thick right there. But there's little stuff coming up down in there. We got deer tracks coming out around this thing. What I'm noticing, they're coming straight out of these, which would lead me to believe that we got deer that are coming out and bedding in these. They're probably coming out and feeding in the corn and coming back in the middle of the night and bedding up in these just little patches that I left. But I'm gonna check down by the bottom of the plot and see what it looks like down there for how it's coming up. Cause that's where it's most important to me is we're all the way at the bottom. Cause that's where I'm trying to pull them down to. All right, I just made it down to the bottom where my stand's gonna be right over there. First off, there is deer tracks and deer tracks and more all over down here. But looking down, it's coming up. It's just starting. You can see it all down in there. Just starting to poke through. Some of these spots where I think there's clumps of soil, it's not as obvious. But it is just starting to come through here, which is good. Hopefully keeps up like this. I came and put another bag of seed over the top of some of this to help it just thicken it up a bit. I was worried about it not being thick enough down here since I tried to do the clover earlier this year and it did nothing. So hopefully this helps thicken it up. My plan for this area the next years, well first off, saw these the other night. I'd say that's a pretty decent deer coming down through here. That's what you want to see. But my plan in future years is to leave these patches like this to break it up. But this bottom section to do my brassicas and then this top up here. You can see where that's still green up there a lot. That's where I want to do clover. But I'm going to put clover down here too and then kill it off every year or like a winter rye or something just to keep the weed control decent that's the plan starting from now on i'm learning that just trying to do an annual plot and put nothing in in between you get a lot of weeds that's it for the plot today on the main agenda i'm staying on more deer tracks but the main agenda for today is we are heading over to where i cut that trail to put in the stand and we are gonna hang a stand i got new stands and some climbing sticks in got two I think i'm only gonna hang one and then from there i'll see i might keep one as a backup just to be a little mobile, maybe end up. We're heading out west this year for some hunts. Maybe we find a water hole with a tree by it and we need it out there. Maybe find another place around here to hang a stand, we'll see. I might get on the other side of the big block of woods next to us. So I might keep it for that too. But I'm heading back up to the truck. I will catch up to you guys once I get back over to where we're hanging a stand. I am gonna go back to what I was originally gonna do here, which is tuck it up into that cedar tree. It's gonna take a lot of cutting. But I think from there, I'll be able to watch first off. Same shot, and I won't have to cross this bottom to be able to get in the stand. So my scent's gonna be on that side still. My problem is gonna be having to come across here. So I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be a pain, but I only have to get about eight foot up because it's already, the bottom of that tree, the roots of it are equal with my head right now. Like I'm staring below the tree. So if I'm eight foot up in that tree, I'm gonna be like 20 foot up from this bottom. Close, probably 15 foot, 20 foot, somewhere between there, but that's what I'm gonna do. So complete change of plans, and we're gonna see if we can get into that tree, because I think it's gonna work better, and it'll be more covered up, but it's gonna take a lot more cutting. This one's gonna be very minimal. That one's gonna be probably 30 branches, so. Best roll the time lapse of me just sawing down some branches. Saw this out just for camera's sake. It doesn't need to go, but. We'll help you make it look better for filming. Cutting out this many branches just to get to the stand. Then we still gotta cut out shooting lanes. Wanted to knock out as many as I said I was going to. This is why I wanted to go in the other tree more. But once this stands up, we're going to be bulletproof. 
that's about as perfect as I could get, but God, it's a lot of work. That was close. Almost just cut my hand really bad. I knew that was done. All right, cutting the camera before I waste all my battery. All right, I just got the sand finished up. It's not the safest, doesn't feel the best, but could be worse. I mean, trees decently thick. The only problem is we're on the spot kind of right where it's a little curve in it. There was really nowhere else to get in. This is the most open spot and I still cut a lot. I mean, I cut more than needed, but I think I'm still pretty bulletproof up here. I got a really good backdrop here. I'm gonna climb down here and take a look at it from below. It really doesn't matter. I think all the deer are gonna be on that side anyways. I'm a little open, but this is one of those stands where I think it's gonna be a, we're coming in on very specific days and it's gonna be bulletproof when we come in for wind access everything it's gonna be perfect so if i have it a little open i'm okay with it i'd rather be able to film good and get a good shot than having to force it through a little tiny gap like i had to last year so i'm gonna climb down get you guys a look at this and then that's probably gonna do it for this video honestly i wanted to get some other stuff done in it but it's i'm running behind and it's just gonna take even longer now so and i'm in no rush i haven't had a shooter buck on camera so i got time they sh won't be showing up till Probably start of October, so we got time and no need to rush anything. Right up there is where we're at. See the bottom of the stand right there where that branch is cut. This, I'm standing about right where I'm thinking I'm going to take a shot. This is about 20 yards, but I should be able to push all the way over to kind of those small little trees there even. That's why I opened it up so I could shoot to those. Because I know for sure they'll scrape on some of these when they go past. I just gotta get them to come to this one too. Looks good though if you ask me, as of now, so. That may do it for the video, it may not. I might get some more stuff to add in here, but as of now, it's August, what, like 19th? And that's gonna do it for then, for now. I got more stuff to do, but nothing showed up on camera, so it's not like it's urgent, but it does need to get done pretty quick, because we'll be going out opposite as part of the state here at the start of season so i can't be wasting a ton of time if that is all hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more stuff like this let us know but that's going to do it for the video and we'll catch you in the next one